Hi guys, Emilu here. Today I'm going to draw you an ice lolly, a milkshake and an ice cream. I thought it would be really cool because it's just so warm right now. Uh, depends when you're watching this, but right now it's pretty warm. It's June. Um, so I'm going to show you something that I've done. Love it. Um, this is a cupcake that I painted quite a while ago. Loved it. It was really nice to do a black background. This was two little ice creams together with a really nice yummy cone. Then, fun fair kind of idea, I did the lollipop and the candy floss. So I might do a video on lollipop and candy floss and everything, but first, I want to show you how to do a awesome milkshake and an ice lolly and an ice cream all in one. So you just need paper, pencil, let's do this. Okay, work out where you want everything. So I'm gonna have milkshake, ice lolly, ice cream. Cause then it's just easier. So you might wanna just section off your paper lightly with a line, but if not, don't worry about it. Just see how you get on. This side, we're gonna do like an oval. Like a shape that reminds me of a flat pancake. Then we're going to go down. This is going to be an angle so it's not straight. Then once we've done down each side we're just going to go whoop, so we're joining it up. Then each side we're going to do lines going down so you touch that bit there and you're going to go da 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 blob. Do the same on the other side, da 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 da, blob. Because what you want is you want the lid to sort of go over the actual uh, milkshake. So now you're gonna go da da da. Try and get it so it gets thinner as you get to the bottom, but if it looks a bit strange, you can rub it out and sort of try and make it look more how you want it. But ultimately, you're gonna go down. If you want to, you could find the middle of it, then draw a smile. I'll show you what I mean when I do the, oh, I could do it now actually. Let's show you now. So you could do it this way as well. So we've done that, two lines down. Then really lightly, you could do a light line all the way down. And then you do a smile at the end. So as long as you've got the middle of the smile there, then you join up like that. So if you want to do it like that, you can. And I quite like doing it without sort of practice, if that makes sense. It's quite nice not to have a guideline too much. Here, we're going to have a smile. Now, this is my milkshake, my awesome milkshake, um, milkshake pot. <laughs> so we're going to have a straw coming out of it. So I'm going to do a line like that. And then I'm going to do, coming out of it, I'm going to do kind of like that. And then you know how it bends with the twisty thing? You're just going to go like that. So what I've done is I've done lines. Then you want to get it the same thickness. And then we could just do a little oval right at the pot, top. So it reminds me a bit of this one. But you're doing an oval there and what you want to rub out is you want to rub out whatever's inside the straw because that straw is in front of the back of the line right now we can create any design there you could do circles you could do stripes you could do your name you could do whatever you like I'm just gonna write shake as in it's a cool yummy shake so I'm just going to decide how I want my words. You could do it however you like. I'm just making it up as I go along, the words, as in how I want to do the letters. Right, so there's the beginning of my shake word. So it's S-H-A, and then I can't see the rest because it's going around the, the shake pot. And what I want to do is... I'm going to have some splodges, just because it's a design, and then maybe like a little splodge there. So you could design your shake, whatever you want. 
Then next to here, I'm going to do an ice lolly. Absolutely love a zoom lolly, but I'm just going to do a simple one. So we're going to go line like that next to your shake. Now you're going to do a, a lolly stick. So it's kind of like that. Think of it like, it reminds me a little bit, hmm, I suppose, of a cucumber or a finger. Reminds me a bit of a finger. So up here, you're going to go... Da, da, da. You see, it almost looks like a rocket. It's kind of cool. And then we're going to just do two little lines that go round because we're going to keep it simple. Then next to that, we're going to do an ice cream. Yes, I love ice creams. So I want it at an angle because it looks quite funky when things are at an angle. So I'm going to do a line, much like a smile again. You could do this straight if you like, as in a line but like that. Now, two lines down. A bit like this one. I'm going to join it up. Yeah. Okay, the cone of the ice cream, I'm going to do line down, line down. So it's a little bit like this. Then join it up. Then think about a cone. You've kind of got the big bit and the small bit. So you're going to touch inside there, touch inside there, and kind of join them up at the end if you like. Mine's a bit wonky, so you might want to do a straight one, but I quite like mine. So I'm going to do a line there, just because I want to, and I'm going to do crisscross just to show that it's like a wafer kind of... It's made out of wafer, but I think it's wafer anyway, <laughs> something similar to that. It's a bit wonky, like I say, but don't worry too much. Then I want to make it look like there's yumminess in it. So there's a little bit of an ice cream. And then a bit more of an ice cream. And then a twirly bit at the top. So it's almost like it's layered. And we could have hundreds and thousands on there if you want. Or little bobbly bits or nothing if you want it's up to you but we're going to do a line like a wobbly line and then i want to do a straw but it, i think what i might do is instead of a straw i might make it into a flake like a chocolate flake this is chocolate so don't worry about rubbing out the lines in the background right what you might want to do is you could put some circles here and there just to show it's fun. It's like magic. I seem to be doing that a lot lately, but I like it. <laughs> I like drawing circles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use chalk. So you can use anything you like. I've just got to try and find my chalk. So here is my chalk. Ta -da! I just dropped the other thing, but here's my chalk. Right. I am going to do, what should I do first guys, guys, I'm going to do, right, I'm going to take, man, I'm going to take this colour, so it's like a colour that looks a little bit like, you could use paint or anything, but this colour reminds me of sand a bit, so I'm going to go round, you could do this with brown, or a beigey colour, I'm going to go around there and I'm going to think, what else is this colour? Like, what else is? I would say this is the stick. And that's pretty much it for now. So then I'll smudge. So I'll blend just a little bit. And can you see it kind of looks 3D when you blend it? Kind of looks cool. Cool. Right. What other colour do I want? I like red. Red looks really like positive and happy. So I want to do a red bit there. So I'm going to do, I'm going to colour a lot of it, but not all of it. I'm going to colour like that much. If you've got paint, colour the whole thing if you want. But I'm going to do that much. What else is red, Emmylou? What else? I would say this is, I want this to be red. You could do any colour, but I'm going to do it red. I'm doing it a bit fast, so don't worry if it looks a bit messy. You do yours nice and slow. Good thing about not colouring all of it is when you go over it with your finger, if you're doing chalk, it kind of just looks more 3D. 
but that looks more 3D because it's not all one set colour. Right, I'm going to get blue. Blue for you. I'm going to get some blue. Ah, it's that type of yummy blue. And I want to do shake. So I'm going to colour in. You want to outline everything because I've got mine outlined in black because I've got my black pen, but you've done it with a pencil. So you want to really maybe outline with a darker blue and then colour it inside. My finger's a bit messy, so the, the blue, the blue's gone a bit of an odd colour, isn't it? There we are. There we are. Right. I tend to think yellow is a cool colour, so let's do a yellow here. I'm going to do a little bit again. kind of want that to be yellow. Yeah, I like that. Then smudge this with a clean finger. Might smudge a bit, that's cool. Right, what are we missing? What are we missing? I want hundreds and thousands on there. But for the sake of <laughs> not taking too long for you, I might colour it this colour. But you could do bobbly hundreds and thousands. Like you could literally colour all the bobbles. But this colour is really awesome, isn't it? I love that colour. Wow, that colour's cool. Now, this is normally, I would say the lid's normally a white. So we want to make it look white by outlining it with a grey. And I would say it might be white. The container here but if you want it to look more funky you could have it another color I might do it green so this type of green just because something a bit different isn't it so I'm coloring around the edges but not where the color is can you see where I've done it I've kind of left it so I'm only doing a bit and then I clean my finger this bit can be a bit tricky to do. If you've got watercolours, like watercolour pencils, it's probably a lot easier. But feel free to colour the whole thing in. It doesn't have to be just the edges. I just love doing just the edges. Right, my straw. I'm going to have it a cool purple. I'm going to go round. You could make this straw stripey if you like. That might look quite cool, is not it? So mine's like a purple straw, and I could, where's my rubber, I can't remember, I could rub out a bit of the middle, because can you see, it makes it kind of look 3D, and you can outline the straw, it might look quite cool actually, cool, cool, I keep saying cool, right, last thing, what you might want to do, is with your ice cream, if you get a bit of brown, and the waffle or the what did we call it is it the waffle oh man i can't think wafer <laughs> the wafer that you're doing you can um it's kind of like a wafer isn't it you can go over it in brown and then i want hundreds and thousands in different awesome colors because that's kind of what makes it exciting there you go. Awesome. Now, because this is white Mr. Whippy ice cream, anything white, I like to go over with a bit of grey around the edges because it makes it look 3D. You could do it with like a yellowy colour if you prefer. But as long as, because yellow, it, the ice cream has kind of got a yellow tinge to it, hasn't it? Grey might look a bit boring. I don't know. It's up to you. But maybe you could try, depends what flavour the ice cream is actually, isn't it? It doesn't have to be a Mr Whippy. You could have like a raspberry ice cream or something. So there's my ice cream. Now I'm going to have a chocolat. going to have a nice chocolate flake in there. It's a very big chocolate flake, isn't it? I do like chocolate flakes. If I'm honest, I quite like anything chocolatey or sweet. Right, and then... Because it's inside this ice cream, just do a little bit of grey there. Whatever colour the ice cream is, just do another line there and then smudge it. Right, that is pretty awesome. 
if the flake looks strange you could always get some black and just do some lines to show that it's what it is really and now you can get some cool colors that you like i've got these two getting a bit messy and then i'm coloring in the bubbles of joy i want it to look fun and happy so to do that we want bright colors there we go really like that now if you want to obviously make you can do anything to it you can color this differently you can put bubbles on there you can put a bow on there you can do a background that splashes you can do anything you like but that is ultimately my shake my ice cream <laughs> and my lolly and you can sign it at the bottom if you like hopefully it will cool you down if you're really warm at the moment if you're really hot like subscribe and share and i shall see you tomorrow